Today I'm in this how-to uh, series, I'm gonna uh, explain the basics and the techniques and the points of attention related to uh, one of the most critical techniques that an IPSC USPSA shooter needs to acquire and that's shooting on the move. We're gonna look at uh, different techniques. The first technique is related to um, the basics, shooting on the move whilst moving forward, facing downrange, heading towards the target. The second technique we're going to review and explain is shooting on the move whilst moving backwards. And the third, third technique that we're going to explain is shooting on the move whilst moving laterally. And there, there are two uh, options, either laterally from the left to the right, as well as moving uh, laterally from the right to the left. These are the three uh, techniques I'm going to explain in this uh, how-to series. Enjoy! A question I often get uh, during training and or matches is how do we decide whether or not to shoot on a move? And if we decide to shoot on a move, how are we going to shoot on the move? What are the critical components to make that analysis? First of all, it's very important that you listen and that you look at the stage briefing. Another element is your stage walkthrough. Those are critical in the analysis to decide whether or not you're going to shoot on the move and if and how you're going to shoot on the move. Shooting on the move requires five elements that for you to consider and to analyze. The first element, which might seem very obvious, but you see that often with beginner shooters, they will try to go as fast as they can, but they are not even able of being accurate even while standing in, in a stationary position. So the first element to consider is how accurate are you? If you shoot from your core position onto targets, depending on three, uh, 7, 10, 15, 20 meters, 35 meters away, how accurate are you? You need to be aware of that. The objective is to shoot full alpha, double alpha, from time to time a Charlie, but certainly no deltas, mics or penalty targets. That's not the objective. So the first element to consider is how accurate are you? The second element to consider is how well have you adopted the basic techniques, which I'm going to explain to you later on, um, for shooting on the move. Because there are a couple of things that you need to adopt, that need to be uh, going through your conscious mind into your subconscious mind, and it needs to be a routine that you don't have to think about anymore, is your skill level. How well do you actually understand and can you use subconsciously the technique of shooting on the move? The third element to consider is the terrain in which the stage, the, the stage was set up. Meaning that if you have a very even uh, polished concrete floor is going to have a positive impact on your decision whether or not to shoot on the move, how fast um, how, many, how many targets you can engage, uh, and so forth. If it's an uneven terrain, is it just minor um, bumps and, and um, holes that you can see? Are there tire tracks uh, located? Is it sand? Are they, is the stage area completely filled with uh, these small pebbles? So the terrain will also have an impact on your decision whether or not to shoot on the move, how and how fast. Another element to consider is how many targets are there on the stage, how are they placed and what is the difficulty level of the, uh, the targets. So that's the last element. Um, we will consider how many targets are there and then we will determine and that's predominantly also done by your skill and experience level, how difficult are these targets? 
Are these targets that I can easily shoot on the move, or are these targets for which it requires a stop? And again, the objective is to shoot as many points as possible in the, the briefest time possible, which means that if you uh, move and transition fast, you have a little more time to shoot slow and make sure that your points count, that you have a full alpha hit on the respective target. As usual, we gotta start with the basics for um, shooting on the move. Referring to the other how-to series videos that I've made, I talked about the core position and this is also relevant to shooting on the move. In the previous videos I explained that in any condition, unless specified otherwise in the stage briefing, you should always adopt the same core position. And as a brief reminder, the core position entails that our feet are approximately at shoulder width. Our strong foot, because I'm a right hand shooter, is uh, a little to the rear. My, my weak foot is a little to the front. My feet are slightly pointed outwards. I break the knees. I go down. My, I bend the knees. And the rest of the body acts like some kind of a tank thread. This is the core position. I've also made reference to um, the routine to index your gun and to index your magazine with the lower parts of your arms and um, in a standing relaxed condition this should be your core position that you will always adopt with, from which you will always start again unless specified otherwise in the stage briefings. This is the core position. Now, I'm not going to move yet, but the, the basic technique for moving entails a couple of components of that core position, which means that, um, and in the first technique we're going to explain moving forwards, the basic rules of uh, shooting on the move are first of all that you keep you pull your gun as much as you can comfortably to maintain a good side picture. Don't stretch your arms out too far because if you stretch your, your arms out too far whilst you are moving, the movement will actually have a negative impact on your side picture. The gun will move upwards. You can reduce the effect of pulling in your gun whilst you are shooting on the move as much as you comfortably can. Some people pull it real tight, other, other people actually pull it, pull it out uh, and or pull it in a little further. That's your own preference, but don't keep your arms straight because that will have an impact on uh, actually uh, show it a little more extreme than it is, but that's basically the effect you're gonna have. So the first thing you're gonna do is pull in your gun to control the movement throughout your body. The second thing is bending your knees as much as you comfortably can. You will see um, the expert shooters, they will always shoot from a low position, which means they will go as soon as they start, they will get low and they will remain low throughout the stage. They will not stand upright. So here, it's your personal, personal preference, try to get as low as comfortably possible to make sure that whilst you are moving, the side picture remains as constant as possible. Your feet, if you move forward, we try to keep our feet moving in the direction we want to go. This will play a uh, significant impact in the technique of moving laterally, left to right and right to left. But the objective is to bend your knees, keep your feet in the core position. Some people prefer of really getting the feet in close, but that's your personal preference. 
And the most important thing is uh, for shooting on the move, roll your feet. If you are moving forward, it means from your heel to your toes. You will actually roll your feet. This is the basic technique. Something that you need to practice. If you do it inverse from your feet to your heel, or with a flat foot, again, that vibrates throughout your body, and that will have a negative impact on your side picture. So these are the basic techniques that are important, even that you understand and that you practice, even before you will actually engage in shooting on the move. So again, pull in your gun as much as you comfortably can, bend your knees, move in the direction that you want to go, and roll your feet. As far as shooting is concerned, when are you pulling the trigger? When one of the, the feet is in the air. That's when you actually will pull the trigger. It's important, whilst you are doing that, <coughs> that you take small steps. Don't take large steps. Take small steps, but make sure that the pace is fast. And this is actually how it will look like. So I start from my core position at the beam. I will pull my gun, I will get down. This is the way I'm gonna move forward. I will roll my feet. And I will pull the trigger as one of my feet are in the air. The first technique that we're gonna explain and show is shooting on the move, moving forwards. In this scenario, moving forwards means this is my target. That's the down range. I will actually start from the rear and I will move forward and engage the target whilst moving. Again, it's important um, at your start position to consider your core position. At the beep, you will pull your gun, and whilst you are pulling your gun, you will go down in the same motion and start moving. As I explained in the basic technique, I need to go forward, which means that my feet need to be oriented towards the target. I will pull in my gun, and whilst I start moving, when my feet are in the air, I will actually pull the trigger. And look at my feet, I roll my feet. Again, but a little faster. I start from my core position. As I pull my gun, Get in my core position for shooting on the move, get down, bend, bend my knees, roll my feet and pull in my gun. Again. In the second technique, we're going to move up range whilst shooting on the move. Contrary to the technique of uh, shooting on the move whilst moving forward, which is the, the basic, and if you can do that on a stage, try to do it as much as you can. Um, there are a lot of similarities when you are shooting on the move whilst moving backwards, but there are also a couple of changes, especially in the way you position your feet. The basic position is the same, so imagine that we need to pull, move backwards from this target and also engage it. That is my starting position. Again, I will start from my core position. As soon as the beep goes, I will pull my gun and in the same motion start to move backwards. Now in this 
technique whilst you are moving backwards. You cannot roll your feet from the heel to your tip or toe, but you need to move from your tip to your heel, but also in a rolling motion as much as you can. The position of the knees and the way you hold your, your torso and especially your arms is the same. So what really changes is that instead of whilst moving forward, you roll from your heel to your tip or toe. In moving backwards, you will roll your feet from your tip toe to your heel in a rolling motion. I'm going to explain and show slowly. So imagine that this is the target. Again, I assume my core position. The beep goes off. I will pull my gun and I will start moving. I will go down, pull my gun close as, as close as close to me as possible, as possible and comfortable, and then I will roll my feet. And here too, try to pull your gun as close as possible and roll the feet. Again, but now faster. In the third technique, I will actually have two components. First of all, I'm going to move from the left to the right. And the second component is going to be the same, but inverse, from the right to the left. And I'm going to explain a couple of options that you have, which again relates to personal preference as you train and as you acquire the technique. So, imagine uh, in this scenario, um, actually in front of me is going to be the downrange uh, position. This is important just that you can see the movement and, and how uh, the movement is actually done. As I said, from the left to the right, from the right to the left, I'm going to explain a couple of variations to these techniques. This is actually uh, the technique where most people have issues with because it's, it's counterintuitive. Um, the, the easiest way to shoot on the move, and if you have that, op the, the, that option, try to do it as much as you can, is shooting on the move whilst you are moving forwards. Second option, do it whilst you are moving backwards, ideally in a straight line. Uh, the third option you have is to shoot on the move uh, from the left to the right or from the right to the left. And this is the most complex as far as shooting on the move. And you also have um, a couple of options whilst doing that. And as I stated, it, it depends on your personal preference to determine which uh, technique suits your best. So again, we start from um, our core position. As soon as the beep goes off, the same technique applies. I will pick up my gun, bend my knees, and the basic technique actually says that if these are the targets that I need to engage, I will move my feet in the direction I need to go, which means from the left to the right. Which here means that I'm gonna act as a tank threat. My arms are going to remain bent to eliminate the uh, impact on my side picture and I will start moving forward and I will roll my feet again at the beep, pull my gun, get down, get my feet in the correct uh, direction and I will roll my feet whilst I engage the target. Again, but now faster. Get down and roll my feet. In the second option, uh, in moving uh, laterally, I will uh, show you how to move from the right to the left. Uh, and this, especially for right hand shooters, uh, makes it a little more uncomfortable because we need to, to move our feet in the direction we want to head and turn our upper body like a tank thread. That might feel a little more uncomfortable. That's also why you need to train it. So I'm going to show, explain and show now how you shoot on the move laterally, moving from the right to the left. 
Again, we assume our core position. As soon as the beep goes off, pull my gun, get down, start to move my feet in the direction I want to go. And roll, I'm moving forwards, roll my feet from the heel to the toe. Again. I assume my fall position. As soon as the beat goes off, I will pull my gun. This is the basic technique for moving from the right to the left. A variation for shooting on a move laterally, either from the left to the right or from the right to the left. Instead of moving your feet as you do while shooting on the move, moving in the direction you want to go, roll and use your upper body as a tank to it, is a variation in which people will actually step over, they will cross their feet. That's another option you have, um, which you need to practice in training before you use it in, uh, in, in match environments. And I'm going to briefly explain how that technique actually works. First, we're going to start from the left to the right, and then from the right to the left, showing and explaining the technique. The basics are more or less the same, it's just the placement of the feet that is different. The crucial element to consider is what impact does it have on your side picture primarily and then your speed. Uh, in this technique, if you would want to consider it, remember uh, one of the elements that you need to consider um, during the stage briefing, especially during the uh, stage uh, walkthrough, is the terrain. Because if you cross your feet, it means that uh, at a particular point you are much more vulnerable of losing your balance. And that's a, 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 a especially uh, applicable in, in uneven terrain, so you really need to consider that. So again, we assume, um, in this technique we go from the left to the right, we assume that that is down range, we assume our core position, as soon as the beep um, goes off, I will pull my gun, go, get down, but now instead of turning my lower body and moving in the direction, moving my feet uh, parallel in the direction I need to go, I will actually cross step, which means I will again pull in your gun and instead of moving my feet that way I will cross step but also on my tips tips to your tips toes to your heel which means it looks like this and you will cushion your step again as soon as the beep goes off I assume my basic position and I will cross step as much as I can moving on my tip and toes. Again a bit faster. The same technique but from the right to the left, assume the core position, so you see it's a little different, it's personal preference and especially uh, dependent on the terrain that uh, is in the stage that will decide whether or not you can, you can use this technique whilst shooting on the move. Moving like the speed of sound